Hi there. Deployment pipelines in Microsoft Power BI offers three options to deploy your content. Number one, deploy all the content. Number two, selective deployment. Number three, backward deployment. And in this video, we are going to talk about backward deployment. You will get to know what is it and how you can utilize it. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. Also, please consider to join our channel so that you can take advantages of all the BCP membership. So what are you waiting for? Well, let's get started. In one of my previous video, I have discussed what are deployment pipelines and how you can work with them. Please do remember that deployment pipelines are one of the most important concept when you work with the Microsoft Power BI Premium. They helps you to deploy the content from dev environment to the test or test to the production environment. When we talk about the deployment pipelines, generally you have three options for deploying contents. Number one is deploying all content. In this one, you deploy all your Power BI content to the target state. For example, you have content in your dev environment, then from dev to test, or maybe from test to production, you can do that. So second is the selective deployment. To deploy only specific items, select the show more link in your deployment pipelines, which you would get underneath the items that are gonna display. For example, over here on your screen, you can see how to display the show more and where you can select the respective items that you want to deploy to the next stage only. So that is known as selective deployment. But there's another case that is the backward deployment. And in backward deployment, we can deploy the contents backward. And in this video, I'm going to talk about everything about the backward deployment only and where you can use it. So let's head over to my Power BI service portal. Over here, you can see that I have one deployment pipeline with the name demo. And under this, you can see that all three stages or all three environments have been synchronized. So there's no difference between them. Right now, if I click on this option over here, you would see that deploy to previous stage is disabled because you cannot deploy to the previous stage. Whenever you need to use the backward deployment, the previous stage should be completely empty. For example, suppose in this case, I want to deploy my old contents back to my development stage from my test stage. But here you can see that test stage already has the same content. So I cannot do this. But if I empty the whole development stage, I can do that. So let's go over there. First of all, your all the workspaces should be on premium capacity and they should be assigned to the respective deployment stages. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Now, I have to delete all the contents from here. Only then it can work. And if you want to delete your report as well as data set, then I suggest click on the data set and delete it, which I'm going to do over here. So right now you can see that there's no content in my development stage or development environment. Now, what I can do, I can come here again on my deployment pipelines and here I'm going to click on this demo. And here you can see that there is no content and it's saying compare. As I mentioned previously, if you would like to do the selective deployment, then you have to click on this show more option and you have to use this drop down button. However, this is not the case over here. We have to do the backward deployment. So let's concentrate over there. Now, if I click on these three dots over here at the top right hand side corner, you will see that deploy to previous stages enabled now. So you can just simply click over here and it's going to ask you that you are about to deploy from test to development. The items that are going to be deployed are this, this, this. And if you would like to add any notes, you can edit over here. You would get certain formatting options as well. And then you can write certain descriptions if you would like to do that. Then you would say, that's it, and select deploy. It would take certain time. And then after that, you would see all the contents in the development environment. This is very helpful when you have accidentally deleted some of the content and you want to retrieve them back. However, Please do remember that after doing this, your report ID is going to get changed and also all of the bookmarks that you have created earlier, they are going to go away. Lastly, please do remember that as soon as you complete your backward deployment, you have to refresh your data set once again. Otherwise, let me show you what's going to happen. Suppose I have just completed my backward deployment and now you can see all the contents have been synchronized between all the different stages. But if I'll go back into my development stage over here. If I'll click on my report, you will see that there's no content is appearing over here because the data has not been refreshed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back into my development and here I'll try to refresh my data set. So now you can see that it's getting refreshed and now it has been refreshed. And now if I'll come again in this report, then my data should appear, but it's not appearing somehow. So let's just wait and try to refresh the page. 
and here you can see that your data is appearing in your report that was not appearing previously because whenever you do the backward or forward deployment you have to refresh your data set otherwise you won't be able to see your data inside your report please always keep this in your mind and so guys this was all about backward deployment in microsoft power bi if you have any question and concern please do let us know in the comment section and also if you are over here for the very first time please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest microsoft power bi and azure videos and updates see you in the next video